This is Brad. Welcome to Steam Labs. This is the first video in a new series over Onshape. Onshape is a cloud-based parametric modeling program. Uh, it's really great and I use it all the time. Uh, it works on almost any device. Works on your PC, your iPad, your Chromebook, your laptop. Uh, and it's good because you don't need a monster PC with tons of RAM and a graphics card. You can run this uh, you know, on a Chromebook with very limited RAM, no graphics card. Uh, it's completely based in the in the browser, and uh, you can even run it on your iPad, which is neat. Um, and it's parametric, so you get all the great features that come along with that. Uh, if you make a hole that's too big, um, instead of undoing to go back to where you made that hole, you can just edit that feature and uh, make the hole a little bit smaller. And so let's go ahead and get started. If you have not created an account yet, you can go ahead and create your account. The caveat uh, to Onshape, the, the public account, is uh, it's free, uh, but you cannot use it for commercial use. And all the documents you make, all the documents you make are public. So you cannot have any uh, private files and so I've already made my account I will go ahead and sign in here and let's see this is let's go to my documents and uh, we're gonna create a um, a fidget spinner so this is uh, you, everybody's seen the new the fidget spinner, so we're going to create a fidget spinner for 3D printing. Uh, we're going to use skateboard bearings. We'll go ahead and start over here under create, and you'll name your document. So we're going to call this uh, three 3D uh, printed fidget spinner. Okay, so that's a pub public document. Everybody has ac access to this. Everybody can. Uh, it's collaborative too. So uh, if I if I invite you to edit this document, we can work on it at the same time. So the first thing we need to do is to make a sketch. So we'll click on the sketch tool, and it's asking us to select a plane. So we're going to select the top plane, and now our sketch plane has appeared and we'll choose our view over here on the right as the top view and we can orient our view from the top down and uh, I bought some bearings on Amazon and I measured them with my calipers and so the bearings are circular they're just regular skateboard bearings so we're going to choose the circle tool with the center point we're going to choose the center point we're just going to click anywhere and I'm modeling in inches by the way so I've measured the bearing and it's approximately 0.86 inches and we're going to make our hole 0.87 to give it just a little bit of clearance so we can press fit it in there okay so now we've got our hole this represents the diameter of uh, the hole where the center bearing is going to go and then we want to use um, for this model we're going to use two more holes so let's see let's try this let's click on our circle and then we'll do control C for copy and control V so now we have a new circle and it's waiting to be positioned so we can hover over the vertical arrow the Y axis arrow and adjust it until it's uh, even with our previous circle and we let go and then there's an icon there of a mouse with a uh, green check mark over the left mouse button so that means they want us to click the left mouse button once we're done so we'll click that we like this everything's good so uh, right now this is just kind of free to float around side to side um, we haven't specified how far away we want it 
but another thing we want to do is we want to make these two circles equal in diameter. So we'll click the equal, we'll click, we'll click our first circle, and then our second circle, and now they're both equal. And it says the sketch cannot be solved up here. So to fix that, we need to delete that dimension, and we'll try again. We're going to make those two equal in diameter. Okay, it worked. Now we need to dimension how far away it is here. Uh, let's go with a nice round number. How about 1.25? Um, okay, nice round number. I just picked it out of the air. No rhyme or reason there. Then let's say we want this circle on the other side too. So we're going to have a total of three circles. Let's try the mirror tool. So if we mirror, we need to select our mirror line. So the right there. And then select what we want to mirror. And there we go. Now we've got three circles um, that represent the holes for our bearings. Okay. So now uh, I'm looking at this and I think I want it I want to change this I'm gonna change it to 1.1 okay bring it in a little bit tighter okay so now we need uh, we've these represent the negative space now we need the positive space for the 3d print so I'm gonna choose the offset tool we're gonna offset this circle this circle Let's see. We'll just offset the first circle for now. And I think 0.25 will work. And we've got it in the right direction. So we click to accept. It could not offset the entity. Okay, let's try again. Okay, now it worked. Um, and instead of 0.25, let's make it 0 0.2. How about that? Okay. And then let's offset this guy, make it 0.2, and this guy. And oh, look at that, it's faced the wrong way. So, how do we fix that? We just click this arrow and it flips the direction of the offset. So, we've got it in the right direction, and now we can just type in 0.2, and we've got everything set up like we want. But now we've got these overlapping lines, intersecting lines that we need to take care of. So we'll click the scissor tool, which is a trim, a little scissor icon up here. And we're going to trim what we don't want. We're going to trim these middle pieces out. We're going to trim this away. And now we're left with uh, what we want. This is the basically going to be the spinner. Uh, and I don't like these sharp corners, so I'm going to come in here and make a fillet. So we'll go from here to here and choose our radius, let's say 0.2 and 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay. What I'm going to do is delete these. And I'm going to use the equal sign to make them all equal. And I'll show you why in one second. Because when I change this to point 0.3, they all change at the same time. So what if I wanted point 0.1? That makes it more extreme uh, of a curve there. And... Uh, I think that looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. Um, this is just going to be a very simple uh, fidget spinner. Um, if you want to be fancy, you can add uh, maybe a little knob out here for, uh, you know, like a grip or something. But we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to leave it like this. We're going to accept our sketch. 
and we're going to rename this sketch. It's the first option here. All I did was uh, right click on sketch. We'll rename. And we're going to call this the uh, spinner sketch. The next step is extruding. We're going to extrude the shape that we want. So we're going to click on the extrude tool and we're going to make a solid. A new, a new solid. And then we need to click the area that we want to extrude. And see it just extruded the, uh, the middle parts there. But let's say we wanted to extrude the inside. Then you would click this part as well. But uh, in this case we don't want to do that. So I'll take that back off. And it's coming out in the positive Z direction. And if we wanted to flip that, we could just click this arrow and make it go in the negative direction. Or we could click this and uh, flip it back. And the depth, the depth. So that needs to be at least as thick as our bearings. So our bearings, uh, I measured them and they're 0.2. 7, 5 approximately. So we're going to make the depth of our spinner 0.28. Okay. And we're going to accept that. We like how that looks. All right. So now we've got the basis of our spinner. And so to navigate in our, in our environment here, our space, um, I skipped over this part. You want to use the right mouse button, click and hold it down, and that will allow you to rotate around the central, uh, the center point right here. If you want to pan, you click and hold the center mouse button, and then drag your mouse around and you can pan side to side. And then if you want to select something, you use the uh, left mouse button, and that will select everything or you can do partial selection. If you drag up and to the left, it's partial. And if you drag to the right, it's, uh, it's everything. So anything that it touches, it'll select it all. Okay, so let's go ahead and rename our extrude. We'll call this the spinner, because it's the actual object. And Let's make this a little fancier. Let's uh, let's use uh, the fillet tool. So we're going to fillet um, the outside edges. So it's asking us which entities we want to fillet. And so let's choose this top surface here. And let's say 0.1. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, that's too much and it included the uh, inside. I don't want to do that. I want to do just the outside. And if we select this tangent propagation tool, we just have to click on one of the, the curves and it will propagate to all the rest of the curves. So point one looks pretty good. And let me choose the bottom as well. Okay, that looks good. Just be careful. When you 3D print this out, you want to, if in your slicer you have the uh, option, you want to print from outside, from inside out on these uh, radiuses that are touching the, the bed. Because um, if you print from outside in, this outside won't have anything to, to stick to. So if you print from inside out, it'll work out much better. So. Now we've got the edges all filleted, and let's say we wanted um, we want to make it easier to insert the bearings. So we're going to put a little chamfer on the inside. Right now it's huge, so we're going to take this down to 0.01. Well, that's really tiny. Let's do 0.05. Okay, and that's pretty big. Let's go back down to 0.02. 0.03. Okay, that's about what I'm looking for. Just something to help us get started.
to funnel that bearing down into the center there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So uh, we're just about done with the um, with the spinner. All we have to do now is to um, export. We need to export our model as an STL. So we will right click on the tab down here, the Part Studio 1, and we're going to export that. And we will rename it as our spinner. And the format is STL. It's all the way down here at the bottom. And units, inches, resolution. We can do medium, that's fine. And we will download. Okay, and it's going to download the spinner. And then you're ready uh, to, if you have a, a slicer program, you can go ahead and slice the, the spinner uh, files, or um, you, you can send it off to have it printed. Um, if you have any questions about anything we did today, about Onshape, about 3D printing, feel free to post in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to make these files publicly available on Onshape. Uh, I might put them up on a file repository and uh, just just to make it available for everybody to print. And uh, I can share this file on Onshape. Uh, it's public already. If you search uh, Steam Labs, you should be able to find it. And you can you can make a copy and you can make your own changes. You can you can customize this spinner. You can add an extra bearing to make it triangular. You can add some grips and make it fancy. Uh, whatever you want to do. So hopefully we've learned uh, a little bit about Onshape and uh, feel more comfortable with using it. So our next video will get more in depth and do something a little bit more complex. Thanks for watching.